Hey yo, what is up FPG fam? Further here and welcome back to another Aether Gazer video. Today we have a lot of Jinwoo information dropping. They are not messing around over here on Global Aether Gazer. So I did want to go ahead and react to the modifier demo, the 10 blaze for Jinwoo. I have not seen it yet. Thought it'd be really cool to react to that and then take a look at her skills because they did do that high overview skill post. So we'll take a look at that as well. So I do hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys are excited for Jin Woo, excited for 2.0. This is massive. Just a lot of a lot of hype in general, right? And I, I couldn't be happier about this. So let's go ahead and hop in. If you do enjoy today's video, we are still on our way to 40k. Go ahead and help us hit our goal by joining the FPG fam today. And I uh, greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I do truly appreciate it. Let's go ahead and hop in. Let's see what this is all about. Ooh, the ENVA sounds good. Oh yeah, give her a raise. She's fantastic. So far, without understanding, there is no true accomplishment. Upholding righteousness and eradicating evil is the path I follow. That's a perfect Jinwoo. <laughs> Ten blaze, let's go. Burn, you demon. Sword play. Just let her Mommy cook. Bro, Jinwoo is so fun to play. Radiant rebound. Radiant rebound. Okay, I see you. Yeah, I like the NBA. What is this bop going on right now? Who took off in the studio? Give them a raise too. <laughs> Give everybody a raise. <laughs> the personality. Bro, uh, she she's just perfect. The books always say that to master great skills, one must first have their fill. Time for some spicy hot pot. <laughs> she's got the skills, she's got the personality. That was perfect. Let's go ahead and take a look over at her skills now. Now, before we jump into the first post, I did want to go ahead and give a massive shout out to the sponsor of the channel, Gamer Subs. If you want anything from Gamer Subs, a link will be in the description down below. Go ahead and click on that link, take you right over to Gamer Subs, peruse and check out their store. They have amazing items like Gamer Subs. They all taste great, have amazing flavor. Go ahead and try them out and gives you amazing energy, all organic, so that way you can grind all day long. They also have amazing waifu shirts and waifu cups. The designs are off the charts, all limited edition and collectibles. Go ahead and check out the store. If you see anything that you like, use code FURTHERBEYONDGAMING at checkout. Gives you 10% off everything there so that way you save. You're not paying full price and you're also supporting the channel so we can do bigger and better things. Thank you guys so much. I do truly appreciate it. This is the first post that they went ahead and provided for Jin Woo. Ten Blaze Jin Woo. I love that name, Ten Blaze. The ENVA, Rebecca Wang, fantastic. You did an amazing job. A perfect Jinwoo. And then the JPVA, Ozora Naomi. Hopefully, I didn't butcher that. If I did, I do truly apologize. Um, but I'm sure that she is amazing as well. I need to try both the ENVA and the JPVA because I like doing the JPVA on my global. And then the access key, 10 blaze, an exquisite and massive sword that can split into 10 floating blades. According to Jinwoo, such a complex and wonderful creation can only be controlled by a chosen one like her. The thing about Jinwoo that I love so much is not only is she very strong and very powerful, but she has the personality to match. She seems to be clumsy. So I love that type of personality and her design is off the charts. I love, love, love her hair because it has a yellow undertone underneath and the black, black and yellow. Plus when you're using her in game, it turns into flames. She's just a very, very cool modifier. The yellow eyes to go alongside it. She's just very, very cool. And then right here, just a little quote, 
uh, that you can see and it's going to be of the Tian Wan Gen Zone and the Tian Wan Gen Zone is just broken. <laughs> <laughs> it is absolutely broken the effects that you get from it all right moving on to the skill introduction so once again this is a high overview i'm going to do a full in-depth breakdown in a separate video so just be on the lookout for that for the skill one called demon slayer what a name right i love the uh, anime demon slayer one of my most favorites so naturally i'm gonna like that name uh swings the 10 blaze and slashes continuously at the enemy i believe it's three slashes if i'm not mistaken pretty wide arcing as well so you're gonna hit multiple enemies kind of hits like a truck as well dealing fire damage when the mod has blaze fire marks every hit landed with a slash attack expends blaze fire mark and grants fire feather now the blaze fire mark you'll be able to see it's gonna be right above your health bar a big symbol you can't miss it uh, which increases the mod skill damage this is what's going to allow jinbu to hit pretty hard when mod has enough blaze fire marks skill cast will expend all the marks and grant corresponding stacks of fire feathers as well as deal additional fire damage and you're going to notice this is a reoccurring theme where she's going to be able to stack the amount of fire damage she's doing and skill damage now when in sun fade state which is the state where she's going to float which we'll talk about more here in just a second where she essentially flies actually demon slayer is replaced by crow's scorch Crow Scorch is incredibly fun to use. It's like a gigantic uh, Getsuga Tensho. It's a lot of fun. Crow Scorch brandishes the 10 Blaze in the air to attack the enemy, expending Blaze Fire Marks to deal fire damage. Um, so you see that right there. Demon Slayer, a lot of fun to use. And when you're in the air um, doing your attacks and skills, the skills become pretty much spammable. Uh, skill 2, Evil Crusher, unleashes Blaze Blades on the enemy multiple times to deal fire damage. Essentially, you're in place and it has this like field that goes around you dealing fire damage, hitting multiple enemies as it whirls around you. It's pretty cool. Every hit landed on the enemy grants Blaze Mark. When Evil Crusher is on cooldown, it is replaced by Evil Incineration. Evil Incineration expends Blaze Marks to unleash blaze blades on the enemy um, so it's like a follow-up attack think of it that way dealing fire damage skill cast does not interrupt ongoing actions so you can do the skill two and then you can do the follow-up but still move around you're not locked in place and every hit landed on the enemy grants blaze mark when in sun fade state once again that's when you're in the air evil crusher is placed by crow's fire crow's fire expends all divine grace to generate a circle at the target's location inflicting shackle on all enemies within the circle as well as reducing their physical wind and fire resistance based on the expended divine grace and then deals fire damage so the skill too especially while in the air is incredibly important um, because you are able to lock them in place so you have cc you have some crowd control right there and you're also reducing their physical wind and fire resistance this is also going to lead to jinwoo being able to do a lot of damage but it is based on the, the divine grace expended so you want to make sure you have a lot of divine grace and then do your skill two so that way you're getting the maximum benefits and then do your skill one and you spam it right now skill three sun chaser this is the bread and butter right here expend all divine grace and deals fire damage to surrounding enemies then jumps into the air to enter sun fade state sun fade grants unyielding effects meaning you cannot be cc'd um, or you cannot be knocked back anything like that increases fire damage based on the divine grace expended if i'm not mistaken i've used jinbu a couple of times and while i've been in the air i have not been able to you know get knocked out of it been cc'd or anything like that even while being hit so um, it's as if she has super armor in the air once again if i'm not mistaken uh casting of skills or dodge during this time will extend the duration of sun fade until the end of casting um so as long as you're basic attacking and you're using skills or you're dodging you will stay in the air there is no time limit to it uh and also i should say the dodge is infinite from what i've seen i've spammed the dodge while in the air and it never runs out which is incredible <laughs> it's kind of broken um and so that's going to extend and then at which point the cooldown starts when in sun fade state so as soon as you come out of it that's when the cooldown starts for skill three sun chasers is replaced by crow's burn and the form of the pengalai sword play attack changes uh pengalai excuse me did i say pengalai yeah we're pengalai sword play <laughs> what pengalai <laughs> sword play a skill attack unleashes blaze blades on the enemy dealing fire damage gains blaze fire marks on the number of hits on the enemy Crow's Burn swoops down on Locked On. Enemy expends all Blaze Fire Marks. That's when you do your skill 3 again. Um, and then you go ahead and do this. And it does a lot of damage. Dealing Fire Damage increases this skill's base damage based on the expended Blaze Fire Marks. So you have to keep that in mind. Uh, so skill 3, incredibly important because it 
goes right into her preferred playstyle, right? Now the ultimate skill, 10 Blaze Incandescent. What a, uh, what a name. Maybe cast only when mod is not in sun phase state, which is the state where you're flying. Unleashes the mod's power, so you have to be on the ground to do this one. Dealing fire damage. The mod grants divine grace based on the amount of blaze fire marks owned. Grants ultimate skill charge when mod or teammate cast the ultimate skill. Essentially, ultimate skill hits like a truck. <laughs> is what it's saying, pretty much. It's uh, it's a nuke. So this is just a very high overview of Jin Woo. There's a lot more details within her kit. Once again, we'll go more into detail about that in a separate video. What you need to know is Jin Woo hits like an absolute truck, and she's incredibly fun to play. Um, so you mix those two, and you have a very, very cool modifier and incredibly unique in her gameplay style because it's like no other modifier in the game. So anyways, guys, I do hope you enjoy. Last thing I did want to mention is that I play blue stacks both. I play blue stacks. <laughs> I play both Global Ethergazer and CN, my account on CN, on Blue Stacks. If you guys want to give Blue Stacks a try, if you're tired of waiting for the PC client, which hopefully is around the corner, uh, and you want to play on the PC right now, go ahead and download Blue Stacks using my link in the description down below. It's my affiliate code, so it does help out the channel. I do truly appreciate it. But you can download it for free, and you can try Ethergazer Global or CN, whichever one you play, on Blue Stacks and with the right settings. It plays phenomenally so go ahead and give it a try use my link down in the description below thank you guys so much for all the support i do truly appreciate each and every one of you you guys have been fantastic let me know if you're excited about Jin Wu. Uh, we should hopefully be getting information about Ling Wong here very shortly. Uh, there's so much happening on the CN account. We're waiting for maintenance to be over. Um, so that way I can do pulls for Lu Wu and be able to test her out and give you guys some content on that. So we're just cooking over here on Ethergazer, both on Global and CN. Absolutely cooking. This is a very hype time uh, to be into the game. Very exciting time. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I'll see you all next one. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. My name is Cody. You call me further. I'll see you all next one. Bye, guys.